often experience bouts of intermittent musical isolation? Are you suffering from chronic musician's wallet? You may feel like you're doing all you can, but something is missing. Consider talking to your doctor or friend who owns an audio interface about once monthly DistroKid. If you're suffering from symptoms of absent fandom, DistroKid may be right for you. By taking DistroKid, your music can be uploaded to multiple streaming platforms from a single account, all while retaining 100% of your royalties. You can also easily route a percentage of your earnings to anyone, preventing butthurt bandmate syndrome. DistroKid is for any artist who has been diagnosed with hypo audience retention and may be looking to build a fan base. And the majority of people on DistroKid see significant symptom relief after uploading. Side effects may include building an audience with hyperfollow, instant Spotify checkmark, unlimited backups, itchy watery eyes, increased fandom, chronic YouTube royalties, and daily stats. DistroKid does not lower your effectiveness to fight tuberculosis or book gigs. Before signing up for DistroKid, get tested for whether you even have songs to post at all. Be there for you and your fans. Ask your description today about once monthly DistroKid and save 7% on your first purchase. DistroKid. Start living. Start growing. Start musicking today. What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down this awesome Beatles song right now. Uh, also, if you haven't yet, I appreciate you so much if you were to subscribe here to the Marty Music YouTube channel. And if you're trying to get deeper into guitar, I have free courses and other helpful resources in the links down there. So thanks for that. Let's break it down. All right, the intro is a little run off of three classic chords. D and A, which is part of the song. But if we have the G note there on the third fret E string, you hit that, ring finger on the fifth fret, but immediately slid up a whole step to the seventh fret. So like that. Then five, seven on the A string. Then five on the D. So there's a little box right there. And then it climbs back down and you're hitting the seventh fret A string. So. What's cool is you do the exact same thing, but just off of a D root because of the. So. So it's just the fifth fret A string, the exact same everything as the G. So that starts on the fifth of the A, and then from seven, slide to nine. And then seven, nine, seven, back to nine. So that's for the D. But then when we do the A, we do this uh, open one, uh, one finger A chord. Because we're going to do a little run right in this position right here. So we go da, 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 da. And so that's three, four on the A string after that A chord. So. Right, just up that box. on the A string, three, four. So one more time on that A chord. Mm-hmm. 
So a few little nuances that I hear, and there's two guitars playing that line, left and right speakers, but... So, pick, 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 but then it sounds like a slide into that four, so... Just a little nuance there. might be a, that three four might be a slide on the way back either one sounds Great. So then we have now, let's go through the, the chord progression of the song. So what's going on there is it's A major again in that position, right? We've got all this great stuff. Well, there's that open A and then the sus, A sus4 is adding the 4th fret D string to it and the 3rd fret B string off of this. But then another guitar... You know, there's uh, all in that box another lick on that G string 4th fret hammer on if you want. So you can... Depending on what's going on, if you're playing it by yourself, obviously pick what you want. If you've got two guitar players, you can do some different stuff. So from the verse. Then this is an F sharp minor chord. And by the way, this song's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three or one, two, three, four, five, six. It's in groups of three. So check it out. And the reason I'm now pointing that out is it's easier to count the progression now. Cause if you, it's like a little here and there, it's jumping around. So A, A, A. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's A, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, B minor, so B minor, three, G7. One, two, three. So that's like, you know, G bar chord, take the pinky off, it's now a G dominant seven chord. Not G major seven, G dominant seven. You know, blues sounding chord. So A, 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 A. F sharp minor. B minor, G7. B minor, G7, but now E major. Again, A, 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 A. F sharp minor. B minor, G7. Yeah, B minor, G7. G, D, A with the G, 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 D, 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 A, A. And that's the form of the whole song, except the end, it just keeps repeating. And then 
you know, then finally. So, yeah, so that's the form of the song, right? But then there's just little things, especially like George, I think George Harrison, um, you know, throwing some other things in there and, and a solo too. Let me show you some extra things. You've got the chorus, which has this great bass line, but there's also one of the guitars plays it. So on the chorus, you can do G, D, E. Because. Uh, that part, yeah. Having fun? I'm having fun because I like this song a lot. Okay, so on that chorus, one guitar, most important would probably just be those classic chords. But that bass line, only on the first time, then the second time it's the classic line that we learned first. So it goes like this. So this little line, they're just arpeggios off of those chords. G. And the last note of the G major arpeggio is the first note of the next chord. So you can just build off of that, which is really cool. So three, two on the A, five. And then grab that four on uh, the D string. And now we're in the next major arpe arpeggio. So four to seven. And then seven on the G to six. And you have to you know, if you're just only playing one guitar, if you're only one guitarist, you could go, instead of hitting, you could go straight to the. Okay, so that's one thing. Another thing now on the. Right? Just a little blues thing. Like that. So, and then check it out. So then on that F sharp, there's a little lick. Once again, just that kind of pentatonic box. So that's G string, four, two, four on the D. And that's over the, you know, it hits that B minor chord there, so. So you can add it as one guitar player and have some nice little nuance there. Now the G chord, G7. So for the G7, you have these classic, this classic little blues thing. Brown eyed girl kind of vibe, you know, whatever you want to think of it as. It's fourth on the G string and three on the high E, but I'm look, it's just a piece of that G major F shape. That, and then fifth fret G and high E. And then slide that up a whole step, back down, and then grab that piece of the B minor again right there. So you have, um, all right, so that's the basic form, but I wanna show you some of these little extra little, little nuggets in there. Uh, the first one being on the chorus, G, D, A, So 
that's one guitar part. But the bass line and another guitar part, only on the first set of G, D, A, they play this beautiful little line, just bass, very simple, off the arpeggios. <laughs> And so that line is it's a G major arpeggio. So that's third fret on the E string, two, five. That's the first note of the next chord. So it just goes to the next arpeggio. So grab your index on the fourth of the D to seven. So. Then, seventh fret G to six. But depending on how you're arranging this performance or whatever, instead of playing, because it goes into. So you could do different combinations, but um, you could go. note of that A chord is that note so you can just try and make yourself hear it in there so now also on the uh, verse So as you're transitioning from the A to the F sharp, there's a nice hammer on on the G string fourth fret from you know from this grip. So then once you hit that F sharp minor, you hold the chord, but then you can do, so I'm hammering, you know, that's barred across the second. I'm hammering that fourth fret on the D string, then pinky off, then the A string into the B minor chord. So. Those are just classic uh, brown-eyed girl kind of things. So from the B minor, G7, a second guitar could hit based off that chord. built off of the chords that are happening rhythmic rhythmic chords the basic chords so what you have is the G seven chord you have the fourth fret G string and third fret high E pinch them hybrid pick them and then fifth fret G and high E and then seventh fret G and high E then fifth fret and then fourth and third there, and then I'm just grabbing this minor triad right here. Fourth fret, third fret, second fret. Back to the G7, and then now E, and with the E major, you have that same thing, but it starts open, and you hear a lick here. And so that's hammering the first fret G string then the open high E, you know, based off the E chord. Seventh 
second fret G and high E, fourth fret. All right, so if you see this A major pentatonic, which is, happens to be the same thing as the F sharp minor pentatonic, but you have this little. So that's 9 and 11 on the G string, and then 10 and 12 on the B string. It, anyway, that melody is in that box, so... I'm not obviously teaching that whole solo there, but you can just see how little ideas are built off of that. I'm using this little D minor shape to play a B minor chord. I can see the root right there, you know, instead of. And then G7, you have this, you know, based off of that shape. Major. enjoyed the lesson once again thank you so much for the support if you haven't yet i appreciate you subscribing here to the channel and then also check those links down there for helpful resources and free courses resources free courses thanks again you guys hope to see you again